Hello everyone, this is Hillary with Dominion Tea, and today we're going to talk about how tea is made, and specifically the step of withering. So as a quick review, to make tea, we have to start by harvesting the tea leaves. We need to allow them time to wither. We need to shape them into whatever shape we're going to send them out in. We're going to dry them, and we're going to package them up and store them and send them off to the end consumer. So what is withering? Withering is actually a simple, but not so simple process of laying out those tea leaves to allow for moisture to evaporate, uh, to allow for oxidation to continue, especially if we're gonna produce a black tea, and to allow the tea leaf to become flexible. So if we're gonna ball that tea leaf or we're gonna twist it, we need it to be pliable. And if we don't allow for that wilting to occur, uh, when we go into that shaping step, uh, those tea leaves are going to break and I'm not going to produce a high quality tea because of it. So the picture on the right is actually kind of a modern version of the withering machine. So it's a climate controlled machine that takes care of air temperature and moisture to allow the tea master um, a great deal of control over the withering process. Now that's not to say uh, they still don't wither tea on bamboo baskets out in open air because they absolutely do. Uh, but rest assured, that tea master knows exactly what the temperature is in that room and what the moisture level is. And they're working uh, their best to watch uh, and make sure that the moisture loss is happening at a rate uh, that is to their liking and producing the tea they want. So when we talk about length of withering, we could be talking about minutes uh, to days in some cases. So on a white tea, we don't want it to brown. So, and we aren't gonna shape it, so we're gonna limit the withering time. In fact, we may even skip that step. So by how silver needle, for instance, goes straight into the drying process. There is very little withering allowed. Uh, on the green tea, we do want to shape it, so we need to allow it to wilt, but we don't want it to brown. Uh, so we could be talking about an hour to maybe two. On that oolong, yellow, and black, we could be talking several hours, if not days. In fact, with the yellow uh, in the withering process, the leaves may be re-wet uh, and allowed to continue withering uh, because what they're trying to do is affect the flavor profile of that tea uh, before it gets uh, dried in its final phase. Uh, and so we've gone through the length. Let's talk about what's happening inside this tea leaf. So while those tea leaves are sitting there looking like they're doing nothing, they're actually doing everything we want them to do. The chlorophyll is degrading. The proteins and carbohydrates are breaking down into amino acids, and it actually produces a set of volatile compounds that releases scents into the air. And so withering tea, as some tea masters will tell you, they can tell based off the scent coming off the tea leaf that it has lost enough moisture to continue into the process of what they're making. And last but not least, we've got polyphenol oxidase occurring, which is just the fancy name for oxidation. So we've got that browning happening, uh, which is important because that's going to help uh, concentrate those polyphenols, which gives us all the flavor we want in our tea. So once they've done that process, we're going into shaping. So our leaves are headed into a wide variety of machines or into some hand um, work to give it its shape. And we'll talk about that in another video. We hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.